Hello, and welcome to Healing Motions. I am Tabitha King, and I am the owner of Healing Motions. And my heart's prayer is for the African-American women to learn how to break free from generational traumas of emotional pain and hurt so that they can be released from any chronic illness in their bodies. As I have said before, 80% of our issues in our bodies deal with our attitudes, our thoughts, and our emotions. So we want to be able to come away from those moments of stress and tension that is causing us so much pain in our bodies, and also want to come away from the cycles so that our children and our children's children will no longer have to deal with these chronic illnesses either. So with that being said, if you like what is being said in this group, please like and subscribe to my channel, Healing Motions with Tabitha King. And I would love to share more with you about how to break free from these cycles. Today, I want to talk about our managing our emotions. And I want to talk about this because that is something that is very deep. It's a very deep topic because we find ourselves trying to just go with the flow of our feelings. And if our feelings are angry or jealous or bitter or, you know, they kind of just take us into an uprooted place at that moment. But we have to come to the place of understanding that God is in control. And if we are trying to do things in our own strength, we will allow our emotions to just have their way. But what, what are we supposed to be doing? Are we supposed to allow our emotions to take control over us? Or are we supposed to allow God to have control over us? In God's word, it tells us to let go of our strength and rely completely on him. Trust in God and trust in God and lean not onto our own understanding. When we learn how to lean not in our own understanding, that is when we can begin to manage our own emotions. Now, I will say that our feelings and emotions are temporal. And if we continue to allow our feelings and emotions to rule us, then we will be in a place of pain and sorrow for a very long time. We have to learn to come away from that or else we will stay in a place of isolation and rejection because we are trying to do things from our own strength. So if we learn how to control our, our feelings, then Satan does not have control over us. Doesn't that sound good? We have to learn how to resist the enemy so that all of the temptations that come up against us will no longer be an issue. So if we learn how to manage our emotions, then we will be able to rise up against the enemy in those moments. I know that that's not the only thing that we need to rise up against, but this is a big thing for us as African-American women, because I know that for myself, I know when I have had moments where I would be in a heated conversation, sometimes my mouth get the best of me. But I want you to know that it's a possibility because all things are possible with Christ on our side. If we learn how to train our emotions and learn how to fight the urge to come away from those situations, it can definitely be done. I know sometimes people think, oh, I can't be gentle. I can't be calm. The devil is a liar. The devil will tell you all types of lies and make you feel uncomfortable in those moments to make you feel like you can't do anything but get angry and heated. But since I'm here to tell you, there is a different way to do things. And if you want to live for Christ, you got to do something different. You got to change the patterns of the way you do things and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If that is you and this resonates with you and you are ready to change the ways you are living right now, go ahead and join my free community where I continue to nurture you and help you to get to the deep-seated roots that are causing you this pain and this 
agony that you are dealing with with your emotions and help you learn how to manage your emotions. Also, if you are ready to live a lifetime of wellness and get away from that chronic illness that you are dealing with right now, I have a six month partnership where I help you to learn how to take care of your own heart and stop relying on others to give you the love that you need, but learn how to let God's love pour into your heart so that you can be ready to love others the way they need to be loved. Go ahead and um, click on the link to schedule a discovery call with me so that we can begin to triumph over chronic illness in your life. Begin to activate that healing that you definitely need at this present time in your life. Go ahead and do so. Also, I have a, um, a feelings journal so that you can begin to write down your feelings and learn how to take care of your heart. If you begin to write down what you're feeling in the moment, instead of speaking out on it in that very moment, you will start to see transformation happen in your life. You will start to see things grow as you start to lean on God and not on your own understanding. If you start to accept and acknowledge your feelings, you will learn how to do the things that God has for you to do. No longer living, feeling like you have to be angry, like you have to be sad, like you have to live in that hurt and pain, but learning how to be joyful and peaceful at all times. If that's you, sis, feel free to um, look at all the links that I've told you about because it is necessary but definitely partnering with me for the next six months, I can get you to the point of healing from your chronic illness in your body. You are you will be able to grow. Um, I know that I talk about emotions all the time, but we want to heal that 80%, that 80% that is causing you so much pain in your bodies first so that you can begin to live without the pain that you're having. Trust me, sis, I've been there. I lived eight I mean, many years, many, many years with this pain in my body. I've had uh, rheumatoid arthritis, chronic um, congestive heart failure, and fibromyalgia. I've dealt with so many different illnesses in my body. And it, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how many, but there has been many because of the way that I dealt with emotional trauma. I want to help you to learn how to deal with emotional trauma so you will no longer have those issues within you. Come and work with me today. And I believe with my whole heart that there will be change in your life and you will be so much better for it. I look forward to having that discovery call with you so we can find out where you are and where you want to go and how you can get there. I love you, sis. Be blessed. Take care.